The Beyond Zero Half Marathon is back this year after a two-year hiatus and its current focus is to assist women around the country with obstetric fistula. The First Lady, Margaret Kenyatta, has been training to run the 21 kilometers race on the 10th of next month. Mukami Wambora joined her for one of her training sessions today morning and filed this report. Now we're here at State House, Nairobi, to train for the Beyond Zero Marathon with the First Lady. Now if you're like me and have never run a marathon before but have thought about doing it, well this is for you because today we'll be getting some insider tips from those people who've gone before us. Let's do this. So you've been training with the First Lady, Margaret Kenyatta, for the Beyond Zero Marathon. Maybe you can give us a, a sense of her training schedule. As of now, we are training three times a week. It's Monday, Wednesday and Friday. We start our training at 6.30. First thing we start with is, is, uh, is a warm-up uh, in form of stretching. On your left, we stretch one, two, three. And then after that, we start, uh, we start uh, the training itself. Uh, most of the time that we here we do from 10 kilometers to 11 or 12 kilometers and uh, in some point we also incorporate a bit of speed work I know like sprinting what we've been doing here uh, apart you know we also have some hills down there with there's some hills that we do so we, we put a variation of types of training and after that we come back we do our warm down four five Maybe talk to people who are sitting at home who haven't even started any training yet. Would they be able to run for this marathon that's three weeks away? If you've not actually done anything, no training, you can try a 2K to support or a 5K. For those who are doing 10K, I will advise you at least you do some training, even if it's three times a week. Once you've completed a marathon, describe that feeling to people so that they can try and... Oh man, it's people. exhilarating, you know, it's, it's phenomenal because, you know, you, you know you've achieved something that maybe perhaps you never thought you would or mentally, at, at, you know, at a point in time when you are doing the marathon, you thought, you know, let me give up, but then you get to the finish line and, I mean, it's just, I've done it, you know, and I've done it for a better cause. So clearly there's still a lot of work to be done, but there's plenty of time with the Beyond Zero Marathon starting on the 10th of March. I'm Mukami Wambora reporting from State House in Nairobi for Citizen TV.